Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at the latest IPA released from New Belgium Brewing out of Colorado. This is their rampant Imperial IPA coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume featuring Mosaic, Calypso, and Centennial hops. Some of my favorites, very big, tropical, kind of forward-tasting hops. And if you guys do want to pick this one up, qualityliquorstore.com, that you can get it. And at the end of this video, I'm going to do something a little special. I'm going to do a food pairing with this one, something that's really going to work really nicely. Uh, with this beer and it's really kind of easy to prepare. So stay tuned for the end of the video, it's gonna be in the verdict and watch that. So with that said, let me get this into the glass, let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict of the new Belgium Rampant Imperial IPA. All right guys, so the aroma on the Rampant. Yeah, definitely getting those big kind of tropical notes. I'm getting a lot of peach, a lot of like an overly ripe pineapple, a little bit of pear in there, a little bit of a, a mango type of sweetness in there. A touch of like, I'm surprised by this, a little bit of that dankness, a little bit of like an oniony garlic type of flavor like you get off Summit Hops. Um, a nice little spiciness in there, a nice kind of sugary, um, almost like a syrupy sweetness to it. Just a really clean, tropical smelling beer, nice stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Rampant Imperial IPA, cheers. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, classic Imperial IPA. I don't know, how many times can I say this? Right at the front of the tongue, tons and tons of bitterness, grapefruit, pine needles, extremely bitter, actually. Middle of the mouth, I'm getting a lot of strawberry, a lot of melon, maybe like a honeydew type of characteristic in there. Um, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of peach, a little bit of like a candied, maybe like orange peel or lemon zest in there. Uh, very, very light graininess, light kind of sweet malty bodiness. Doesn't really cut any of the hop flavors. Still a lingering, lingering bitterness in the middle of the mouth. Really dry finish on this one, surprisingly, consider the hops they're using. Um, aftertaste is more of that kind of strawberry uh, pitted fruit, maybe a little bit of like, a, again, like a watermelon or a honeydew type of flavor in there as well. A little bit of pineapple in the aftertaste. And I tell you, for the alcohol, you don't taste it at all. It goes down really, really easily. A very, very bitter kind of sweet, melony forward beer. A really interesting take on the style. All right guys, so the final verdict on the rampant Imperial IPA from New Belgium, 8.7% alcohol by volume, guys. Gonna get a B plus from me. You know, as far as an Imperial IPA, it's very, very solid. Uh, not too different, not too, you know, out of the box, but very, you know, easy to drink at 8.7%. The hop varieties, Mosaic, Calypso, Centennial, just awesome, awesome stuff. You get a lot of that berry, kind of melon flavors that you don't get in a lot of IPAs, and more people are starting to use them, so it's nice to see that in, uh, in a beer like this. Just easy to drink, and just a very interesting take on a style, extremely bitter, so definitely a hophead beer that they're gonna wanna check out, just because it is kind of a different flavor profile. And like I said about a food pairing, guys, if you go to Ballistic BBQ, his YouTube channel, he did an awesome Southwest style pizza. It had pork carnitas, it had a really, really nice hot sauce on it, some cilantro, some avocado, a little bit of Mexican uh, sour cream on there as well. And this beer worked perfectly with it. It cut the fat of the pork, accentuated the spiciness, started to come out of the beer from the hot sauce. It kind of, you know, the citrus worked with the cilantro, just awesome stuff. Check out the video below. It's where I learned to make it. It worked so well with this beer and I highly recommend you guys check it out. So with that said, getting a B plus from me and remember folks, life's too short. What do you gotta do? Drink missing beers. Come on, come on. Cheers.